What's up, everybody? This is Zach, aka Zachy, with a very important public service announcement. Um, as you know, guys, uh, the election is coming up in a couple of weeks, and it's incredibly important to vote Democrat. It's important to vote for Kamala Harris and all your local, state, and um, uh, other candidates that are uh, Democrats, whether they are listed on Our Revolution, which is Bernie Sanders' organization, including the squad of uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and everybody else that that's on our staff. And um, all the other great candidates that are listed for California Democrats and California Young Dems. Uh, please be sure to um, let me hide this. Okay, I got my mailing ballot right here. There you go, it's here. And you know, you get that in the mail. As soon as you get that in the mail, you start filling it out, and you immediately, uh, you know, send it in the mail at the one of those uh, special post office boxes where you can. Um, turn in your uh, ballot. Get that done immediately, as soon as you can. It's time to get that done, and it's very important. It really means a lot. Uh, please understand that uh, the election is, is crucial, and uh, I need you to understand that if you do not take this election seriously, and uh, and you think that, oh, no, there's, there's no problem. I don't need to vote. I can just vote later, and someone else was, will, will vote. Please understand that that same rhetoric is what happened during the election in 2016. In 2016, everyone thought, oh, Hillary Clinton is going to win, done deal, no problem. Not enough people voted, and then we got stuck with the Trump nightmare for four years in a row. I know those years were a nightmare. Do you know why those years were a nightmare? Because while everyone thought that, oh, Trump is doing a great job, all this and that, he wasn't doing shit. Do you know what was happening? Hillary Rodham Clinton was doing his homework. That's right because she had a lot of experience at the State Department, and she was the one who was actually doing all the fucking work, and everyone in the Trump administration was like, oh yeah, we're doing a great job, all this and that. They weren't, they didn't even know how to do anything. They couldn't even hire people. Like, everyone at the State Department, there was like hundreds of jobs that were not even being uh, listed or hired, and like, they were, it was just a, it was a goddamn fiasco. There, no one was working, no one knew what they were doing, and for four years, looking back, turning the clock when all the intelligence agencies, 18 of them, are looking at what happened during those four years. They basically said, I don't know what else to say, but um, during those four years, we could have lost America. We literally could have lost it. Just like that. Just like that. This is no joke. Now, uh, please get your mailing ballot and vote for Kamal Harris. It is very crucial to get that done. Not only is she a great candidate, but she's also... From San Francisco, San Francisco. It's amazing. I love San Francisco. As you know, I have a startup called Zach Technology LLC. I'm a, a founder, CEO, and a senior project manager. And um, yeah, and uh, so yeah, I'm, I love working in technology. I work in the tech industry for like a decade, and um, I'm actually still looking for a project manager role. But if nothing comes my way, I'll just have my own startup, and we'll see where it goes. Anyway, back to what's important at hand. Please understand that if you do not vote, you will regret it. You will regret it. Please understand that when you vote, you've done your part, your job as a citizen. If you don't vote, you will regret it. Because if something bad happens after the election, you can't go back in time and say, oh, I wish I'd voted, I wish I'd voted. This is what can happen. Picture, look at my hand and picture two parallel universes. And one parallel universe is everything's fine. Kamal Harris has won. Uh, we're taking care of business, we're taking care of issues, issues that are on a national level, local level, state level, and their national level. In another parallel universe, Trump wins. What can happen? Complete disaster. Complete may mayhem. Complete nonsense. Do you remember that game that I barely played and a lot of people are like, oh my god, he's got to play this some more so people understand. The game by Ubisoft called The Division. The Division One and the Division Two. It's what happens in some kind of post-apocalyptic United States where, you know, everyone's on out for themselves to try to get um, supplies and all this and that, and there's all kinds of commotion and it's complete chaos and all this and that. That's exactly how it would be if Trump wins this election. I promise you that it would be that bad. Now, no one, nobody wants that. Nobody does, and I want you guys to understand that 
everything that Elon Musk has done for his little October surprise, oh, you know, robo taxi and all this and that. All that stuff is useless. Do you know why? Because a lot of us who actually work in, in um, artificial intelligence and um, all that great work that comes with it in quantum mechanics, we know that basically all of the stuff that he's working on is useless without the operating system, without the software. And the software right now is not ready. He thinks that he's ready for level five autonomous, uh, autonomous uh, driving, and he is nowhere near ready for that. He's nowhere near ready for that. We know, we know the numbers. We've read the predictive analysis. He's nowhere near ready for that. The only company that gave them, I give them credit for that, who's, who's somewhat ready for this stuff, is Waymo. Waymo is way stronger than Elon Musk, uh, uh, you know, autonomous driving. I'll tell you that right now. Now, some of you are going to use that for a stock tip and uh, invest in this and invest in that. First of all, please understand, I don't have any shares in Waymo and I don't have any shares in Tesla. I'm just telling you, just as someone who is, uh, you know, as an analyst, as a project manager, who's been in the world of technology for so many years, Autonomous 5, Level 5, you can Google that stuff, Autonomous 5, Level 5, uh, Autonomous Driving is not ready. You know, it's... We've, when we all worked on this for many, many years ago, this stuff is it's like a 20-year plan. That's how long it's going to take. And Tesla's plan is not ready. You know why? Because a couple of years back, do you remember the accident that happened with the autonomous driving and it caused a pileup? This, this is what the Tesla operating system does from time to time, and it can still happen. And we know that as it stands right now, you know, to have multiple cars like that, in autonomous driving, it is not ready. It would literally ca cause a pileup. It would cause a pileup. And I'll tell you that right now, confirmed. I know what I'm talking about. You've seen me in the past being right on a lot of issues. I am right on this stuff. You get, you might get all excited about Tesla. All it is is a ruse to try to get you into that weird mega cult, you know, nonsense. And uh, Tesla and Elon Musk is just using their power of, uh, you know, of Neuralink to try to completely absorb you and, and, you know, hypnotize you in that stuff. He's nowhere, he does not, you think he knows what he's doing? He's literally into some kind of weird cult of the MAGA cult. It's very dangerous. You, you're interested into autonomous driving? Check out what Waymo is doing. Waymo is a whole lot stronger, and the reason why Waymo is stronger is because they have the whole alphabet budget from Google and from Sundar Pichar. Sundar Pichar is very, actually very strong. Sundar Pichar very strong. I'm, I'm a little upset with Sundar because from time to time he's a little too much pro-Israel and with the whole Project Nimbus and uh, a lot of people who work at Google are very against him for that stuff because he, he, have, he has like a billion dollar uh, military project with uh, Israel which they're using that software as a weapon to kill Palestinians which is really dangerous. But um, please understand that uh, uh, hopefully uh, Sundar Pichar is not stupid and he does plan on voting for Kamala Harris. I know you would prefer to vote for Trump, like a lot of idiots on Wall Street, because all they want to do is pay a little bit less taxes. All they care about is paying less taxes, so that's why they want to vote for Trump for paying less taxes. But basically, a lot of people with common sense, especially the military, went to Wall Street and explained to them, listen, God, we need a good commander-in-chief. What's going on with the whole planet? We need a good commander-in-chief. Kamala Harris would be a good commander-in-chief. Trump would be a terrible commander-in-chief. Okay? So please, guys, vote, vote, vote. This is the ballot of the year. Please vote. Please vote. I'm planning on voting. Uh, today is uh, is Friday, so um, I will uh, hopefully fill out the ballot this weekend or early next week. But uh, I'm looking forward to casting my ballot. And uh, yeah, these weeks are crucial. Um, all of you guys that are the young college students and university students, please go on your go knock on some doors. Go um, go knock on some doors. Go. Um, uh, make phone calls uh, and uh, phone banks and all this and, and just get that done, okay? I I would love to do the same thing for you guys. I need you guys to understand. I'm a little, I might seem young from time to time when I call my hair uh, black, but, uh, you know, actually my hair is white, you know, very Clooney-ish, you know. I've been, you know, I'm literally 41 now. So please understand, uh, just uh, do your part. This is what you were born to do. Volunteer in college. It's for a good cause for a good cause. I've done the same way. I was part of Students for Obama. I got him elected. I got him reelected. Now you can have the same energy to elect the first uh, black African-American uh, woman 
president in our lifetimes. It would be a huge, you know, amazing thing that could happen. It would be great for the city of San Francisco because, you know, she's from San Francisco. I love San Francisco. I'm trying to have an office there and work there and maybe I'll DJ there or something. Who knows? But just get that stuff done. Uh, it is very important. These next couple of weeks are huge. I need you guys to understand you need someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to work. And right now, Trump doesn't know how to work. He doesn't. All he does is little speeches, and all it is is rhetoric for, like, the freaking KKK clan over there. It's really dangerous. So I just need to do a quick video. Like I said, 10 minutes long. Get your ballots. I, uh, I was very careful to make sure no one stole this ballot from, uh, from the mail. And uh, like I said, I live, I live in a very rural town, very red uh, district. And we're trying to turn the county blue, and it's uh, very important to get that done. Um, just another quick topic. Uh, I did get to stop by two bookstores, the local bookstore around the corner, and uh, and uh, and uh, the local Barnes and Nobles. Now, I want to thank both places, both bookstores, for uh, being a little bit uh, better at their customer service. Um, I was, like I said a long time ago, I was very upset at Barnes and Nobles when the the booksellers were just a bunch of gossiping girls and didn't uh, take their work seriously and it was really upsetting. As far as the local bookstore, very nice, amazing place. Uh, they had great uh, selection and uh, I was able to get a, um, a book on music therapy and how what people have de dealt with when they had a traumatic injury and then uh, used the power of music to feel better. It's called Music and Mind. It's by Rene Fleming. And uh, we'll go ahead and have that on the books, on the on the book club hopefully soon maybe next month uh, we'll see what we can do um, and, uh, and it's going to be a great uh, read we'll be sure to check that out um, as always a lot of, I have some people asking me some question why this library was empty over there that's my wife's library she's going to plan on putting some stuff there that's that's for her stuff my library is in my office uh, I have an office in the house and that's where all my books are and all that stuff and then I have a bunch of books in the garage in the garage I have a bunch of books in there because I have so many books you know it's Pretty much a huge library, but I've already read the books, so the books are in the garage. Okay. Um, um, I got a, a copy of uh, Jimmy Carter's A Full Life. I already read this book because I read on my Kindle. I mean, uh, on my iPad with the Kindle app. But uh, I you know, wanted to own this book. You know, very important. You know, Jimmy Carter is 100 years old. Amazing, uh, wonderful human being. Former president and uh, has done so many issues. Um took care of so many uh, issues in the world as as, um, as a former president. Back in his presidency, uh, uh, Home for Habitat, all this, all this stuff. It's just amazing work, you know. And he was, you know, every day, he never took things for granted. And he got so much done. It's just incredible. And he even had a book on Palestine way before everybody else, even when other uh, humongous great leaders of... Uh, the Democratic Party uh, were disagreeing with him. Uh, Jimmy Carter was right. You know, all of the he all of my favorite uh, Democratic heroes. You know, uh, Bill Clinton, Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, John Kerry. All these guys that were so pro-Israel and were getting paid by APAC during all those years. You know, meanwhile Jimmy Carter knew full well. And, you know, and all these guys always claim to be Christians and they all go to church on Sundays but like oh, this and that and guess what this whole goddamn time with hindsight with comparison look you know the fact that uh, on one side 1200 Israel uh, individuals were 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 killed in uh, in an attack and on the other side 40,000 Palestinians were basically massacred in a genocide look at the difference over here you can say you can say you can say that Netanyahu was like it's like Israel Nazism against the Palestinians. That's essentially what's happening. They were literally destroying an entire civilization, and it was like ethnic cleansing. It was ethnic cleansing, you know, stuff that was happening in other parts of uh, of, of Africa, things like in the Sudan. And now it seems that Sudan there's there's more and more issues again. But please understand, who has the most infinite wisdom out of all of our presidents right now? Obviously, it's former President Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter eventually is going to enter kingdom of heaven or as he likes to uh, we like to call it into his his uh, beliefs into his uh, uh, thought process into his religion 
please understand that before he goes to l'eau ou de la, as we say in French, he cannot go until Trump is done. Until Trump is over, we're not going to let that happen. Because if Jimmy Carter leaves us before Trump, then you might as well, you know, all these, uh, what everyone is saying, you know, four horsemen of the apocalypse and, you know, it's freaking Halloween month and all this and that. But it's like it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare because it's basically essentially going to be a terrible situation. So please understand that Jimmy Carter knows what he's talking about. He's been at it for a very long time and now he's 100 years old. So keep it 100. How should I keep it 100? He knows what he's talking about. He keeps it real. The rest of y'all start realizing, oh, well, I guess... Jimmy Carter was right, and Zaki's right. This, this Israel, Netanyahu started to butcher all these Palestinians. This is, this is really not a democracy. It's not the democracy of the Middle East. This is, this is like the, this is like the dictatorship of the Middle East over there. It's ridiculous. It's really bad. But anyway, I'm wearing a blue shirt because it's the Democrats. Democrats have been, you know, involved with the Democratic Party for a long time. Um, I don't even was I a citizen when. When John Kerry was uh, was running, I think I, I may have been. If I was a citizen when John Kerry was running, I think I may have voted for him. But um, in any case, I definitely was a citizen when uh, when uh, Obama was running, and I did vote for Obama for sure. I, I believe no, it was I was a citizen uh, right before I could vote in two thousand eight, so I did vote for for Obama, and um, so I've been a registered Democrat since uh, two thousand eight. Since two thousand eight, uh, so. Uh, uh, please understand that uh, voting is important. Uh, don't boo vote, as, as Obama would say. And, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not going to give a very long lecture. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to explain with common sense. I'm not trying to look down on you or anything like that. Just please understand. The Democrats are the one that are helping you um, in many sort of ways. You know, all the, all the stuff that, uh, that uh, when you go and seek for help from the government... That's that's the Democrat. It's not the Republicans. The Republicans are like, oh, the, the government, we're stealing my money, all this and that. No. When, what do you think pays for all the roads? Your tax money. What do you think pays the firefighters? Your tax money. What do you think pays um, all the all the people who, who work in the police? Your tax uh, money. All this stuff, it's your tax dollars at work. It is very important. And if you think that... Uh, voting for Trump is better just so you can save 50 bucks on your taxes or 100 bucks on your taxes. What's going to happen if America loses this place as a superpower? Are you going to feel better then? I am dead serious. This is not a joke. This is who you think he is. No. If you if you do not vote for Kamala Harris, America will lose its place as a superpower. This is not a joke. Okay. It is very early on, on Friday morning, but it is three hours in the future in New York, which means it's uh, almost 8.30 a.m. in New York in uh, Eastern Time. So let's go ahead and uh, end this video here so I can quickly upload it, put it on the interwebs, and then hopefully uh, people in um, Eastern Time Zone will be able to watch it and, and uh, take the conclusion that, yes, it is time for everyone who get their ballots to immediately turn them in and uh, and vote. we got to vote. You know, don't boo vote, as uh, beloved Oma Obama would say. And... Uh, you know, don't take this election for granted. I'm. I, I look like I'm dead on the inside, and I'm not. I'm just really busy with with writing reports on my website, Zag Coffee, because of everything that's going on in the Middle East, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Iran, Israel, um, everything that's happening in Africa. There's a potential pandemic for a monkeypox, which can be very dangerous because it could spread over, uh, elsewhere. Um, you know, keeping the morale for people, whether they're any branch of the military, specifically Air Force Special Tactics, because they're, they're my favorites. And just, there's just a lot going on. There's just a lot going on. But right now, don't lose track of how important the election is. Please vote. Vote early. Get it done. And then focus on other things. This is very important. And, uh, you know, if you're reading this, watching this message, you're like, who is this person? I'm the guy who does Jelly Radio. I'm the guy who loves Jelly Radio. It's the, one of your favorite podcasts, and I do all the other podcasts. I do Banky Radio, I do Lambda Quantum Radio, I do 
Mu Radio, I do uh, Omega Radio, I do all all these other podcasts. That's me. That's from Zach Doth Coffee. My name is Zachy, but I go by Zach. And I've done all these podcasts, so be sure to check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, a big shout out to the local bookstore and and Barnes and Nobles. But the, the local local bookstore was able to to get a, a pen in purple, you know, Supreme Kai, Supreme Kai, and um, a cool sticker. Check out that one. The truth is out there. Big shout out to the X Files. That please, David Duchovny, Jillian Anderson. I know you guys are very busy, but make. Just bring back the X-Files. I'm, a lot of people love their favorite TV shows. That, yeah, it's fun to watch The West Wing again. Or I think I'm going to watch The Newsroom again. But I want to watch... I want, I want to see some more X-Files. And just bring back the X-Files. Seriously. And stop uh, censoring The Lone Gunman. The Lone Gunman TV series knows things that every people should know. And uh, yes. Damn it. So uh, yeah, please bring back the X-Files. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to YouTube channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Vote Kamala Harris, our Vice President.